What's going on? Welcome back to the show. It's Beaker's Lab. The gang is back. You guys know what it is. I'm your host, Beaker. We got Melly and Pie up there. And guys, right in front of us here, you kind of can't miss it. It's right here. There's 10 of them. The brand new troop coming to clash. The Electro Titan. If you haven't seen anything about this yet, it's clearly a massive troop, kind of like a golem, but it's more focused on damage than a golem. In fact, it's got this electrical current. It's always zapping things around it. it just looks mean, like she's just ready to... I love it. All right, guys, so just for old time's sake, let's go up against the dragon because these things, despite being a ground troop, they can attack air. Oh my goodness. All right, heal that, rage them. Freeze the... They just took out the golden dragon. Like it wasn't even... De they look so sick. Oh. Wait, so are they like a wizard? Do they have a range? I thought they... I thought they punched. I actually thought they punched. Uh, it's kind of... It kind of seems like both. No, they do get right up to a building and punch it, but it just shows a little bit of an electrical zap like it, like they were a wizard. This is dope, dude. <laughs> I absolutely love this. All right, so let's do that. Perfect, perfect. 32 troop spaces, middle of the road movement speed, not very fast, attacks ground and air. I absolutely love that. The only way this thing could have been better was if it straight up went for defenses, like it was a golem or a giant. That would have been too strong, probably. That would have been way too strong. Let's see how they do against heroes. I think it's gonna be so good. It's, it's gonna be good. Here we go. And by the way, guys, we got a bunch of skeleton traps up here. You'll see. You'll see. Here we go. They don't even... That was unfair. Like, the skeleton traps didn't even get to exist. They were dead before they existed. Okay, so we got a... Well, I mean, that was overkill. Wow, now I can't even see. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, and by the way, I just realized this. There's four defending witches in that clan castle. Guys, you can have four witches now. When I first started playing, two witches in the clan castle was really popular. You can have four now. Great, let's go. They look so sick. The fact, I can't get over the fact that they just run over the skeletons like they're not even there. Like I, I feel bad for the skeletons. Let's get a rage ball, see how they react to that. Oh, so good. <laughs> it's just like one hit. Okay, watch the, All right, maybe not a great example because you're never gonna have this many, or if you do, I mean, that's fine, but most people probably aren't gonna have this many, but did you see how fast they ran over the clan castle troops? It was like they weren't even there, just like the skeletons. Now, you know, like we said, we have overkill here, probably more than you're ever gonna have, but I could be wrong. This could be the next OP strategy. I mean, it does look dope. They look so cool walking in the, in the swirly trap there. Amazing. Amazing. All right, get out of there, girls. Come on, come on. Great, great. What, we can only pick up two or one? What happened? One thing I haven't really looked that closely at, look at the buildings. Can you guys see how it's radiating out all the way? Our girl is just constantly shooting electricity around her. It's called like the aura, the electric aura. Unreal. Hey, by the way, her barracks. Looks so good. I love the hand. That's that's from her punch, right? Yeah. Awesome. So guys, we have one of these in the clan castle with a healer, actually. Let's see, let's see if it goes up against something tough like this. Look at this going, going through the walls. That's so sick going under the walls. I love that. It busted the wall. I didn't even know it was gonna do that. All right, here they go. Dunk. Look at how many different effects are joining the game now, right? So we got the ice effects from that pet. We got the electric effects. Uh, what? The phoenix has fire. We got the poison from one of the new pets. This pet. I mean, Clash is getting wild, huh? One, two, three, four. It's, they're just going through like butter. I haven't even dropped a spell yet. Okay, and still, like, that's not how you're normally going to see them, but I'm also normally going to have every hero, right? Spells. I mean, I can't even see what's going on now. 
Where are they at? There they are, dude. Look at them go. So are, can they go up against two heroes like that? No problem. It looks like it, man. I think they're gonna be pretty good against heroes. Pretty good against anything, especially clan castle troops. And just like with the last one, how are they gonna do against a town hall? The new town hall with the spell towers and the builders there? Let's see. Wait, I need the warden. <laughs> All right, get out of there. Get out of there. I don't know, man. It seems like they have enough health to get through most anything. And so when you have your heroes, you have especially these new pets, they're, they've got some really good skills to them. It just feels like not easy, but you, you get the idea of these things really quick. You know how I'm going to get started, guys? Just so we can get everyone down before we start getting shot. Invisibility. Perfect. Here we go! Here we go! Yeah. Oh man. Heal right there. Heal right there. We gotta freeze you. Oh my goodness! I can't see anything that's going on, dude. <laughs> but you can see how fast they're going through everything because, like a Valkyrie, when they're in between a couple of buildings, they're hurting them all. Oh man, that stuff right there was killing us! Hey, now we can see what's happening. Now we can see. Look at this stuff, man. And look at these witches. This is going to be so devastating. Now that we have possibly four witches in the clan castle, can one of these take them out? No problem. One of those just took out four witches. No problem. All right, man. So I have a sneaking suspicion that yetis are going to go really well with these, right? I mean, they, they might. First up, though, let's get a queen walk. Egg walk? Are we calling this an egg walk? Are we going to call it Phoenix? I think egg walk sounds way better. Can I offer you an egg in this trying time? Oh, they went in. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so we froze the rage there. It's still going to go off though, right? Yeah, it's going to go off right now. Wait, something just happened. Didn't the defensive rage spell just not go off? I think we somehow saved ourselves there. I don't know how. So, hey, we got one Titan on the... Oh, I thought it was going to get her with the ability. She looks so sick battling the town all there. And then it's taking out those skeletons with no problem. It is going to be so good to have her in the middle because you've always got skeletons in the middle. I mean, almost always, right? You've got some traps in there, clan castle troops, and having that like extra damage going out all the time. Whether you have one or ten... All right, even 11. You can have 11 total. Wow. What did they just do? Oh, what? It's like Full Metal Alchemist stuff. I think this all goes together so well. I think the town hall, the barracks, the troops, the walls, they go together really well. And I can't wait to get this in the live game. You know, this is sneak peeks. I can't wait to see this on our base. And trust me, we're going to get it all. Anyway, guys, be sure to use code BEAK. Leave two for Lulu, three for Melly, and four for Paya. And we will see you right here tomorrow on the one and only Beaker's Lab, where it's going to be a good day. Trust me. Peace.